state must know ahead of time that what we were saying last year about uh, the Soviet planes and the Soviet tanks in Cuba, and we were also saying that about the launching pad for, uh, for rockets built in Cuba, all of that is true. And it's very important that it will be known ahead of time because the madmen we have in Cuba, that paranoid of Fidel Castro serving the Communist International, is perfectly capable of one day using uh, any of these weapons against the United States. Would you say this is a form of blackmail on Premier Castro's part, sir? I don't understand in English what you want to say. Is a, you can, do you know the word blackmail? I don't make any opinion because I am going to a negotiate. I don't must qualificate or qualificate this. Sir, do you expect to have any trouble? I don't, I can't make any, any, any critic in this moment. Sir, do you expect to have any trouble raising the funds to buy these bulldozers with? I think no. How much money do you already have, do you know? I don't know in this moment. I excuse, I ask it for your excuse because I don't must talk anything about this. We also, our committee, will send a wire setting forth what we are agreeing to and the conditions of our agreement, which relates, which relates, number one, that we make a firm commitment to meet the requirements to get the prisoners freed. Number two, we will have a small technical committee go there to discuss the size and the type of tractors that best suits their need with respect to raising agricultural production and living standards. And thirdly, we want a list of the prisoners and we want an arrangement so that we can have a practical mechanism to check as the transfer is made so that we're getting the right people based upon the list that we have in advance and which we have certified. Namely that so far as our committee is concerned, what we're doing has no political implications whatsoever. We are not related to any government or any political organization. We are simply three American citizens, four I should say, with Mr. Dodge having joined us as treasurer, who for humanitarian reasons want 1,214 people or more, as it may be, liberated <laughs> and uh, enabled perhaps to live the way they would like to live. And we're willing, and we believe the American people are willing, to put up the dollars to make this possible. We are here in the United States to deal with the liberty of over 
1,200 men. Uh, we appreciate very much of you calling us here and we say that we sincerely hope that our ne negotiations will go ahead. God will, will help us and uh, I know that you will also. Thank you very much.